In this video, I'm going to walk you through part three on how to digitize nursing competencies in Zappy Med. In this third part, we'll go through how nurses can request verification from their preceptor or educator to sign them off on competencies. The landing page for a nurse in Zappy Med is their skills profile page. Here at the top under personal benchmarks, they're able to see any competencies they're personally developing in or have been set by their preceptor educator as areas to focus on. Below that, nurses can see the job role that they are in, any checklists, and the list of competencies they need to achieve as part of that checklist. We are now going to go through two verification workflows we talked about in part two of this series. The first workflow is having the nurse request verification from their preceptor to quickly rate them. I'm going to request verification for monitoring and documentation under starting an IV. To do this, I'm going to click Quick Verify. I'll choose a valid preceptor who will be able to sign me off. In this case, I'll choose Jody Lee. Here I can write a note relating to the verification I can set a due date, and I can also rate myself before I send this to my preceptor. I'm going to just leave it as it is and click proceed. My preceptor will get a notification and email, the link that takes them directly to the checklist, and I can also now see that pending verification has appeared for that skill. I'm going to request verification on the competency starting an IV. I'll just go into quick verify again, choose my preceptor. Again, I can write any comments, add a due date, and self-rate myself. For this example, I'm just going to go ahead and click proceed. Pending verification has now appeared for the rest of those skills. That is the first ZappyMed verification workflow. The second workflow is allowing the nurse to choose a specific verification method they want to use. In this example today, we will open up cannulation technique. We'll then train ourselves in the case study as the verification method. Again, we'll have to choose a valid assessor who will sign off on this case study. I'm going to choose JD Lee, my preceptor, once again click launch. I'll then go through the case study and write my responses in the spaces provided. Once I am happy with the responses, I'm going to go ahead and submit this to my preceptor Jody Lee. This concludes part three of the series. We talked about how hospitals can empower nurses to drive their competency verification journey. Please click on part four where we'll demo how preceptors or educators can sign off on the competencies submitted.